Hey everybody, this is Peter Hafner from the Hafner Financial Group, and it's actually Sunday morning. Uh, I'm working from home. I've got my home office all set up so I can conduct my, uh, my meetings with everybody, just like I always did. We're just doing it by web now instead of face-to-face. -face. So if you need me, call me. The phone rings just like it always did. We're really set up well for uh, 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 working remotely. Um, what I'm doing today, though, is I want to give you a little bit of, an, bit of an update on the markets and the coronavirus. I was on another conference call earlier this past week, and uh, what they focused on was the uh, coronavirus <clears throat> and the stock market. And um, what they pointed out on the call was, um, and I've said this before, it looks like the virus has peaked in China, where it started, Japan, and in South Korea. Uh, yesterday, I had heard there had been no new cases in the last few days in China, and that's huge. So I want to remind you, all these viruses and flus, they follow something called FARS law. And what FARS law says is that the number of infected people in the cases will rise rather steeply, and then it'll peak, turn, and come down. And in China, Japan, and South Korea, it, that is exactly what's going on. It is coming down. That is our future. Now, if we look at Italy, though, it has not peaked. You know, the number of cases is still rising, but there's good news there as well. And the good news is that the number of cases is not rising as fast as it had been for the last couple of weeks. In fact, if we look at uh, uh, the last seven days, there's only the number of new cases has only been 9% of existing cases. OK, and to give you some reference for the two weeks prior to that, the number of new cases was 22 percent of existing cases. So FARS law says this will spike up, but that growth rate is slowing in Italy. And of course, before it can turn and come down, it's going to slow. And that's what's happening in Italy. So we here in America, we're behind the curve as far as uh, exposure to this virus. It's definitely happening. Uh, I'm sure like me, you're watching uh, the governor on TV, you're watching the president and his team on TV. Everyone is preparing. Um, so going back to uh, Italy, it hasn't peaked and come down yet. And things are going to get worse in the United States before it gets better. And what we expect is the second quarter, as most of you might guess, is not gonna be great right? Um, the second quarter economically is probably going to be really, really bad. We're expecting a, a drop in GDP of about 20%. And that is about as bad as it ever gets. However, the good news is this is an event-driven crisis. And this will be an event-driven hit to the economy. And what's going to happen is what we fully expect is there will be a sharp V recovery that will come along as people stop focusing on the bad and start focusing on the new. It's probably not gonna to happen tomorrow or next week, but the market is always looking three to six months into the future. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna see the number of cases rise in the United States, and then we're gonna see them turn and fall, just like we saw in China. And well before that, I would expect the stock market to turn from where it is now and start going higher. And I would also point out to you that even though um, the second quarter is just getting rolling and it's going to be a bad one, that doesn't mean the market's going to proportionally get worse from here because there has been a huge amount of panic and fear in the markets, a huge amount of people selling out of panic and fear. And that's what drives the stock market down. Um, by our assessment of the valuation of the market, the market is accounting for a 60 to 80 percent hit to the GDP and that it, we just don't expect that's likely. You know, it's quite likely it'll be 20%, but the market, in my opinion, is factoring in Armageddon. So now is not a time to be selling your investments. Now is a time to be digging in and buying more if you're in a position to do that. So if you're still working or your children are working or you know people who are working, you need to increase, or it'd be really wise to increase the amount of money you're saving into your 401ks. Uh, you probably saw that the time to file your taxes has been delayed to July. 
So you, there's still time to make IRA contributions for last year if you're eligible to do that. So I would suggest to you, don't think about selling. Think about how you can buy into this downturn. The market has already taken a tremendous downturn. This is a time to be adding to your investments, not getting out of them. And the last thing I want to leave with you, and I've gone over this in other videos, you can find it uh, in our YouTube library here. These downturns can turn around very, very quickly, much more quickly than you probably expect. So if you go back and look at some of the other videos, I go through uh, the numbers for the crash in 87, uh, for the tech bubble crash, for the financial crisis in 2009. Within 12 months, in all those cases, the market is doing so much better, much, much better. So here I am. During these difficult times, I just want to make sure I'm available to you, and I am by phone or email, but I also want to put out these little videos as often as I can. People tell me it brings them some peace to hear from me about these issues. So if there's any specific topics you'd like to hear about too, let me know. I'm kind of looking for ideas for what to put up on, uh, on YouTube. So my office is actually considered essential service, so we do not have to close. We're exempt from those rules that came out uh, this past week. However, we are pretty much closing the office down anyway, just to be safe. We're only going to have one person in the office. The rest of us are working remotely from home. We're really poised for this. We're really set up for this. We're on top of the latest, uh, greatest technology that makes working from anywhere possible. So don't be afraid to reach out to us. Call us, email us. If you have questions about anything, get in touch with us. That's it for today. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all soon, and you have a great day.